it's Sari Cecilia here and we are going to do a weekly reading for the Sunday the 24th of November um, for the week coming up ahead <clears throat> so if you are watching the replay welcome I hope that you get something out of this reading but if you are watching live you can have a card drawn for you uh, so Keep that in mind if you're watching the replay for next week. If you come on live around this time, I'll draw a card out for you, a um, personalised card to see what messages are coming through for you for the week. As I mentioned, this is a, a general weekly reading. So take from it what resonates with you. And of course, leave the rest because it might be a message for somebody else. <laughs> so I don't have any control of the messages that do come through. Um, but um, I, am, I feel called to share this ability to read the cards uh, with you here. All right. So um, <clears throat> this is a, a new deck of mine. It's called the Victorian Romantic Tarot. Um, I've been chasing this deck for maybe five years <laughs> and every time it's coming to print it goes straight, um, gets sold out very quickly. So I was very fortunate to um, find this deck from eBay of all places and uh, I now own a very rare deck of Victorian tarot so I'm very very happy. Okay, hi there Karina and thank you for coming up on live. Nice to see you here. We're just starting with the weekly reading. So I pulled out four cards um, in my meditation this morning just before I came on live. And this weekly reading I was very called cool to look at um, where we're all at at the start of the week. Hi Lisa, nice of you to join us here. Um, this card here, I don't know if you can see my finger, yeah you can is the obstacles for this coming week. <clears throat> um, I'm also getting to dr um, a message at the moment, coming in really fast, the messages about obstacles, is that some of you have gone through these obstacles last week and they're carrying through. So this confirmation card is to help you to move forward from the obstacles of last week. And then the last card is divine inspiration that's coming through to help us um, <clears throat> through the week. So uh, the first card, I'll start here, the Four of Pentacles is basically uh, where we are at. So uh, with the Four of Pentacles, uh, there has been a lot of things that have been coming up for us to do with money, um, saving money, uh, getting um, projects going that involve money, and really caring about a lot of material things. Some of you may be saving money. And others, um, carrying on from last week, might have some anxiety around money. So this card is saying to us really that not to hold on to things too tightly, material things, um, really looking at the pleasures that we get from material things and um, being called to ask the question, is it really worth it for you to hold on to those material things? Some suggestions for some of us for this coming week may be to release that grip, is to give generously. Um, <clears throat> for example, here in Australia, as most of you know around the world, we're having a lot of bushfires in New South Wales. And there are a lot of people, including myself, who are giving generously to the wildlife who are being affected by those terrible fires. And you would have seen footage of poor little koalas um, you know, burn and scorch. So we're all about giving generously for this week. So um, think of something that really helps free you from your possessions and money and materialistic things. And the message for us is, you know, not to really hoard, not to be a miser with um, what we have been saving. Yeah, so that's a big, <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> okay, so if that resonates with you, the obstacle about that is um, the second card here, uh, the Page of Cups. Um, the Page of Cups is really the empathic self. And I think if you're in this private group of creative intuitive, you are pretty much an empath or have some clear audio, clear um sentient or one of the Claire's abilities so you are quite sensitive to things um, that's going to be an obstacle for all of us this week um, or some of us <laughs> 
just not to get over emotional or hypersensitive um, because this is really going to block us from um, achieving what we need to achieve and learning the lessons that we need to learn for this week if we're just being really hypersensitive and, and emotional about um, things and I'm just getting a message to really um, go out into nature and um, release some of that sensitivity. Our connection with Gaia can really ground us, can really help us to see um, what's important in our life and not to become hypersensitive um, because, you know, a lot of us do wear our hearts on our sleeve and when we get wounded, this week you might feel a little wounded or overwhelmed or that your power has been um, taken from you, that you think from somebody, um, then when you do feel like that, it's, it's very easy for us to either lash out or some of us react by shutting down. And um, that's not really going to serve us this week. If you do shut down, there is a risk of uh, nightmares and depression um, to come this week. So your empath empathic abilities are, are really powerful and it's really important for us to try and balance those so then they're, they're not out of control and they're not sort of uh, dominating our relationships because we do get really affected by those so that's what's um coming up for that this is a confirmation about how to move forward from this emotional state and interestingly enough uh, the king of cups the page of cups and the king of cups came up so again about our emotions but with the king of cups it's really not, um, it's moving forward, it's the maturity from the young boy to the man and, and um, whether you're male or female, that's more about the message of using your intuition to, to move forward, um, you know, really deciding, <clears throat> am I going to be wise about this situation or am I, am I going to, you know, uh, react in a way that's sort of about my emotions like a anger and, and fear and um, all of those things that might affect us. Um, the other thing that the King is giving me a message to share with you is not to manipulate people because of the way we feel. Sometimes, and I know I'm guilty of this, <laughs> we can go into a bit of arrogance of, you know, I'm right and, you know, you stuffed up and blah, 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 you know, really going into our arrogance. Um, or we might be prone to some sort of addiction. Um, you can see he's having a lovely glass of red there. Um, this guy looks pretty drunk. <laughs> so not overindulging and, you know, with our emotions because, you know, we are empath and it's hard to deal with our emotions sometimes. So we do go and try to numb them down and it, whatever it is that your addiction is, just be wary of that this week moving forward. Um, just admit that you are you know, sensitive and that you are feeling intense emotions and trying to work through that without seducing any temptations. So really all about money and, and love um, in terms of relationships and um, the message from the divine is the, the lovers. Beautiful card. I absolutely love this card. These cards have got a, I don't know if you can see them, um, a gold shimmer sheen there's a sun let's see if I oh you can't see that there anyway look at this card the lovers uh the victorian romantic tarot deck is this one um if you can get it you'll need to get it from a collector because they're out of print now this particular deck has two lovers cards um the other lovers card is much more intense which means like a, a passion this one really i think lovers isn't necessarily the divine is not giving us necessarily a message about you know a lover coming in but more about the situation in terms of our emotions to really um, nurture the the project with the project of your emotions that is with self-love you know just really taking care of your emotions as you would a lover um if that makes sense, you know, not to be charging forward, but really um, nurturing yourself and, and having faith that the things will move forward. And yeah, you are experiencing these high feelings because you're passionate, you know, we're, we're passionate people and it's hard to control our emotions. So, um, you know, really take care of yourself, I think is the message that's coming through uh, so that you're not feeling you know, all those really raw emotions. 
and keep the commitment to yourself to really work through those feelings. Um, I like to look at this guy here, <clears throat> the way that he's looking at her, and to see yourself as that ch child that is hurt. Actually, they look really similar, don't they? The child that is hurt, the child that feels things, and to love yourself um, through this time is a message from the divine there. Ooh, that was a powerful reading. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me here live. I do appreciate it and I do love to connect with you. Uh, join me again next week. Um, and if you're watching the replay, please join us around this time um, next Sunday. Have a great week, everybody. Bye for now.